We've had the most click stories on Sky News. Now let's reflect some of the stories moving up across the internet. And my guest tonight is Ollie Mann, one of the faces behind the Answer Me This podcast. Good to see you, Ollie. Hello. Where are we going to start tonight? And old people find it difficult to remember things. Why is that a good thing? Well, yeah, it's a good. Th I imagine this is the Silver Surfer contingent have been forwarding this around their mates today. Yes. Hello, Grandma, if you're watching, number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the story. Uh, there's a new book called Progress in Brain Research, and some neurological scientists have discovered according to one set of tests, uh, that far from deteriorating, old people's brains are prone to distraction. And that's a good thing, because it means, although they'll leave their keys and their phones lying around and won't know where they are, if they're leave, reading a big block of text, they're likely to notice words that are a distraction, i.e. different from the rest of the text, and therefore have a better analysis, a better understanding of what's going on. It's kind of a tortoise and hare thing. Young people will read quicker, but not understand so much. OK. I love our graphic. If it's Wednesday, look. It's football. It's football. Simple as that. Why are we okay. sitting here? We should be in Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the controversy surrounding the advert. This is the advert for Sex in the City. Yes, well, now, I'm very happy that some city somewhere has taken the decision to ban people going on and on and on about Sex in the City, but not because uh, it's obviously going to be a tawdry pile of tosh. Uh, <laughs> in fact, <laughs> this is uh, in Israel. Obviously, uh, it seems to be quite a liberal place in the Middle East, uh, but nonetheless, in Jerusalem and in Petah Tikva, uh, they've decided that the word sex on the poster, there we are, censored uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, it's too much for religious groups there on a billboard. OK, the dollar bill itself is due for a makeover? Correct. It's discriminatory, Martin. Is it? Yeah, well, you see, now I thought this myself, right, I've got some dollars with me because I always carry hard cash in my pocket. Yes. Right, so we've got a 20 and a 5. See, they're the same size, OK, and yeah. if you put them up next to each other, you can't tell the difference. Visually impaired people can't tell the difference. They're green and they're the same size, whereas every other currency in the world, of the 180 countries that have cash currency, have size differentiation, so you can tell. So the American Council for the Blind has brought a lawsuit to the federal court in Washington, and they've decided today that, yes, American money is discriminatory against blind people. So they're going to make the $20 bill bigger, or something? they don't care, as long as they're different sizes, right? Well, it's got to go to the Supreme Court, so it could oh. still be turned around. <laughs> it could be ages. Why do these things have to go to lawsuits uh, in America? Surely I know, it's just, it's just common, common sense, sense isn't yeah, it? Why is the actress Scarlett Johansson panned by music critics? I'm sorry, you just said Scarlett Johansson. I just had to take a second to dream yes, by myself. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she's banned by music critics because she's trying to give it a go. She's trying to sing and she's, she's, singing, put out, she's singing. She's put out an album of Tom Waits covers. Now, that's kind of impossibly cool, I think, uh, but also slightly <laughs> ridiculous. I suppose it's a bit like Kate Winslet putting out an album of David Bowie covers. Uh, and uh, music critics don't like it. Mojo have said that it's fussy and forgettable. Rolling Stone have said she sounds like Marilyn Manson lost in a gothic fog. I don't care. I, I love Scarlett. I bet she'll still get plenty of clients downloading the stuff anyway. Uh, so? The best burger in town come at a price. Well, if it's the best, of course, it'll be expensive. You'd, you'd think it would be expensive, but then I think Nando's is expensive. This is really taking it to extremes. $175 for a burger. Uh, this is a place uh, on Wall Street. It's called the Wall Street Burger Shop. Their standard burger is $4. Uh, but if you've had a good day on the stock markets, they say, you can pay $175. Just for a burger? Kobe beef patty, yeah. truffles, uh, seared foie gras, Aged Gieri cheese. Uh, you can always tell it's that little bit more posh when they put adverbs in as well. Wild mushrooms. Uh, I mean, it's just a burger. Isn't the world a bit sick? But hey, I'd like to taste one. Oh, I suppose we would, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Good to see you, Ollie. Thanks very much indeed. Ollie Mann, answer me this podcast. Now on our website,